All right, so what is growing on? This should be more of a what's ripening video. When you come to Maine in apple season, you pick apples. So midday, peak heat here, almost got some Florida weather going on. It's nice and cool at night, but it has been hot during the day. Got the big hat, long sleeves, sunglasses, Florida gear on. We're gonna pick some fresh apples. You guys ready for this? Hold tight. Oh, oh what is this? I mean, it's not, I mean, some of them are dropping, but that'll give a nice tartness to it. What are the tools for the job here, Jim? Picking bag, ladder, something to carry them in. That's about it, huh? Yep. I mean, that'll be good enough. So somebody use that bag and pick some of those and we'll keep bar barrels separate. Okay, so this is these ones? Mm -hmm. This no, barrel will be this these one. ones. These are put more in the bucket than you eat, Eric. Come on now. You can throw it in the bucket or you put the bag on, whatever, but up in the tree, I always have the bag. So Jim, why the three-legged ladder? because uh, you can kind of tuck it up in a tree um, and it's very stable you can be really good I got it off on an angle You're on a little bit of a hill too yeah nice. and this is a gorgeous Duchess of Oldenburg Ooh. it's a Russian variety that came over in the 1800s to replace the I can't remember what the name of the trees that all died that year Grab but it, Robbie. Get it, drop it get it drop it so is this a uh, grafted tree yep I can't see the graft but um, I the one thing about duchess is they will come true to seed pretty close as I've seen grafted trees with seedlings close and very similar so it could be a seedling but you know the fact this is an old farm you know they do they seem kind of placed and there's definite grafted trees in here um, and usually you can tell by the form because the the ones that are seedlings often are just multi-trunked you know it's crazy that way so um, just like Florida the single stem yeah, okay. yeah. I'm, you know, it's hard to see graphs here. I didn't realize way back when they were putting the graph like right at ground level. Hmm. You know, Allen's trees, um, uh, Wolf Rivers up there, they got those graphs that are four foot up and the rootstock is much bigger than the other. So it'll come up and then have like a two inch shelf and then go up and you can see the graph like that. Pretty cool. And then one thing I learned from Mark about picking apples when they're ripe, you want to lift. And they come off. You don't want to pull. You want to lift. And a really ripe apple, you want to place in the bag, not drop, because they bruise really easy when they're ripe. Duchesses are known for one of the high-quality baking apples. Ooh. This one go in your bag, Jim. Eric, you're doing a good job. <laughs> hey, doing my best. This isn't your normal foraging, is it? No, not so <laughs> much. Not usually this easy, is it? Yeah, right. Oh, it's the beauty of cultivation. There's a lot on the ground, but I just don't like to put brown drops in cider. Um, you know, they're great for animal feed, but and the likelihood of contamination is probably low, but if I'm going to be giving it to somebody, I'd better... And then you don't have to wash them. So these could be eaten or pressed? Yep. Um, and the other thing about washing an apple, you're taking a lot of the natural um, <coughs> yeast and stuff that are on them off. And so I'd love to just leave that all in the, the brew. You know, I haven't done much anything past fresh cider, yeah. but it's amazing. Even refrigerated cider, pressed two days old, will blow the tops off. If I don't know what it is. Sometimes they're just so fizzy in two days, I almost go into alcohol, and other times they'll go weak. The cool about the bag is, so again, you don't want to be dumping apples, so you just put it here and lift the bottom on the bag like that. Uh, that's pretty slick. So you want to make very careful that you have them cinched good because if you get too much weight it'll pull it out the the white cord. That is, I tried to get it as cinched as I could get it but. All right so link in the description for the apple bag don't worry. Hey what's your deal? Do you like the guardian of the apple farm here? Huh? Huh? I, could, I got a feeling you might bite my dead cat. Do it. 
Oh, this is a really good one. You gonna go high like that again on the other side of the tree, Jim? I'm gonna actually climb the tree. You are? Yeah, because I mean, I can't get high enough. They're ready, huh, Jim? Yeah. How much longer could they stay on the tree? You know, this will probably be empty if we get a good windstorm, you know, 10 days. Oh, there's a grounder down here. What variety is this, Jim? That's just a bulbing bird is what I think. You know, that's an amateur apple explorer kind of guy saying that, but you know, I have a little experience. Guys, I don't eat a lot of apples, especially if they don't grow by me, so I haven't done this one on camera. The, the summer apples mm. are known not to be as crisp. This is way better than the other one I had. Yeah? Mm. I like this one a lot. Mmm. That's like a... Jim, you're doing a good job up there. Thanks. Keep up the good work. Varieties of these, Jim, you thinking? That's a yellow transparent for sure. That's so cool looking. But they're by, you know. Yeah. You've been picking a bunch and a bunch and they're yeah. just done. Yeah. The, all the animals cleaned them up. Yeah, they were. And that's something interesting. Well, we that, them, so yeah. Interesting I learned over the years that these are notoriously wormy. Really? Look at how clean that is. But you had the pigs under it last year, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And I noticed I found one in Eastport like, I don't know, 15 years ago. And Eastport has the highest population of deer density I've ever seen. They're in everybody's front yard. So these never last on the ground either. So the whole insect um, life cycle is in drops. And if you pick up all your drops, you won't have it. But the animals will pick them up for you. So that's why these are so clean. My, you know, again, it's not science. Disrupted it's just, the life cycle. Right, but it's I've just, seen, I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah. Just observation in the process. Yep, yeah. and then there's the russet thela. It's almost fuzzy, like a sandpaper. Uh huh. The golden gem's even worse than that, or more so than that. So a lot of wow. people don't like the skin when they bite into it, mm. but it's not big a deal. Um, it's probably got extra prebiotic fibers or something cool going yeah, on. Yeah, and I think apple it might be something about longer keepers too, because these are usually later apples. Um, I think this one might be called one called the Roxbury Russet, but that's just because I've heard of it. <laughs> and they're small. Why, what do you think it is in its life? Later at, oh, later I'd later. say this has probably still got at least five or six weeks yet. And these will be the ones that you could probably keep till in a root cellar till February or March. Yeah. Nice.